Am I audible to all of you? <clears throat> Just write in the chat box. Okay. So now I am sharing my today's presentation slide. Just a minute. So <clears throat> continuing from the last class, in the last class, we already studied the predictive parsers and, and, and its parsing table. We already discussed the LL, LL parsers and we already discussed what does the two L's means. The first L means left to right and the second L means leftmost derivative. And here the k symbols means for k look ahead symbols. Then the important concept is how to calculate the first and follow sets. We already, we already discussed with some examples. Uh, now, as in today's class, we are going to, dis uh, to discuss some Cal some how we calculate the first and follow and doing some questions related to the first and follow calculations. So for calculating the first, these are the rules. You, you all must first remember these rules in order to calculate the, the first set. Just go through these rules and you need to, to remember these rules first in order to calculate the the first symbols for a question the i am just <laughs> revising it and you you need to just remember it so the first rule says for a production rule it's it produces epsilon so the first of its so the first of its will include epsilon in its set the second rule says that for any terminal symbol a small a the, and the production is of type this, H produces A, then the first of H will have A as its element, as the, as the, as the first element. And the third rule is a combination of these. If the production is of type H produces Y1, Y2, Y3 and so on. And in general, it is of type Y1 to Yn. So these Ys are basically non-terminals. So here two conditions apply. If epsilon is if epsilon does not belong to first y1, this means there is some terminal here. There is some terminal in y1. Then the first of h will have first of y1. But the condition will change. If epsilon belongs to first y1, then we have the rule such as this h produces h produces epsilon then y2 and y3 as epsilon is in concatenation so it has no meaning so now we we calculate the the first of y2 then we move to this if if epsilon does not belongs to first of y2 then the the first then the first of y2 will be the uh, will be our answer but if epsilon is also there in the y2 then our relation is like this like epsilon is in the y1 then epsilon in the y2 and only y3 is present there then we can say that only the first of y3 will be in the uh, in the the first of y3 will be our answer and it goes to the first of it's. So these are the three rules you should remember before calculating the first symbol. Now let us discuss some examples related to the calculation of first. And after that, we are going to discuss the, the, the follow symbols. So before that, we are going to discuss the calculation of first symbols by, by solving some examples.
so this is the example we already discussed in our last class so just to revise it once again so this is the question calculate the first and follow functions for the given grammar so here we are going to discuss only the first function so as you can see here we have three non terminals s a and b so we need to calculate each of the uh, the first of each of the non terminals so just prepare a table like this uh, here you have written the non terminal and then the first and we, when we are going to discuss the follow then also here you can write the follow as well so here s then a and then b so as you can see uh, from s there are two productions so here s produces the first production is s produces s produces a a a and b so you can easily draw a parse tree related to this s produces a then a then a and then b so here you can get that the first symbol is the first symbol here is a which is a non terminal and you we need to check whether any production is starting from a so here we get a production which is starting from a which is a produces epsilon so here we write epsilon here we can replace a with the epsilon now our string is epsilon small a then capital a and then b so when the uh, when the epsilon is in the concatenation then it has no meaning so we have the string a small a a and b so here we get the small a as our first symbol so a small a comes in the first of s this is a small a uh in the similar way we draw a diagram for this s produces b b uh, s produces capital b then small b then capital b then small a so from this we can replace this b the first b with this production so here also epsilon is in concatenation so the first symbol after the epsilon is in is small b so here we write small b so two symbols so here there are two symbols in the set of first of s which is a and b now according to the rule number 1 we already discussed for first now a produces epsilon so epsilon is in the set of first of a and in the similar way b produces epsilon so epsilon is in the so epsilon is also uh, like this epsilon is also in uh, also in the set of b so you just need to you just need to go through the the question i am giving a question uh, which is in the form of assignment you just try the question and find the first of these two questions i am giving you Five minutes for solving these questions. Just calculate the the first in these two questions.
Does anyone anyone of you solve the question? So just write the question number. Which question? Which question's answer are you written in the chat box? Pratash. So you are writing the first S produces B A D, which is wrong. Ayushi Suni. S produces D G H epsilon, which is also wrong. You are changing your answers, Ayushi Suni. Then all the answers are wrong. So, okay, no problem. We are discussing this in detail, right? So we are just leave these questions. Uh, first, we we study this in detail, and after that, you will try to solve these questions. Now we already discussed this this example. Now we are going to discuss the second question. Just pay attention how we solve or how we calculate the first. Now this is the question given to you. Uh, all uh, basically in these type of question you need to calculate the first and follow. But uh, as the topic is difficult, so we are we are only concentrating first. How we calculate the first? So these are the in this question there are five productions, and you can first check whether uh, the grammar contains the left recursion or not. So here you can see in this grammar, A produces A B and A produces A D. There are two production, but but here uh, a left recursion is there because A produces A D. So here left recursion is there and uh, there is a condition that we can only calculate the first uh, only when we uh, we have the grammar which is uh, uh, which does not have left recursion. So first we eliminate the left recursion. So the given grammar is left recursive. So we first remove the left recursion from the given grammar. Uh, all of you must have a pen and a copy. Uh, in front of you and just write this grammar first so you first need to uh, to eliminate this left recursion according to the to, uh, to the rule we already discussed so the rule of uh, removing the first uh, the left recursion is if in general we have a production like a produces A produces A alpha oblique beta. Then it changes to A produces beta A. This is beta. A produces beta A, which is the 
and then a dash a dash produces and then a dash produces alpha a dash oblique epsilon so this is the rule for elimination of left equation so here you we have the production a produces capital a d so apply this rule so after applying this rule we have the grammar we have the grammar which is free from left recursion so first you need to you need to reach this grammar in uh, at this step uh, you need to eliminate the left recursion and uh, and we have this type of production once we apply the general rule here so a a gives to beta a dash which is this and then a dash gives to alpha a dash oblique epsilon so the so our original grammar changes to this grammar first and after that we we can calculate the first symbol so now you can calculate the first symbol just 2 minutes are given to you and you can calculate the first symbol and after that you can write in the chat box for every non terminal you can write this s then a then a dash then b and then c for every non terminal you need to calculate the first symbols now it is easy but you need to remember um, first you can eliminate the left recursion if the grammar has left recursion you need to check whether the grammar is having left recursion or not last minute do it fast
your answer will contain all the five uh, all the five non terminals first not only the three all the five terminals first So your time's up now. We are checking your answer. Now this is the answer, and nobody is doing correctly. <clears throat> Although you are close to answer, but uh, not not the correct answer. So here you can see that. A dash will have the first of A dash will contain D small d and epsilon because epsilon if if we have any epsilon production then epsilon will occur in the the first we already discussed in our last class some important points that epsilon if if a production contains epsilon then epsilon will be included in the in the first of that non terminal so this is the the answer although you are very close but but the first of a dash is contains these two elements d and epsilon now moving to the third question <clears throat> now this is the the third question so here you can see uh, there are three non terminals are given e t and f and from these three non terminals six productions are there so this is the first production this is the second production this is third this is this is fourth this is fifth and this is sixth so here you can see this grammar is also left recursive so you need to first remove the left recursion from the grammar first before calculating first so just write the grammar after eliminating the left recursion now use the gen the general formula for removal of left recursion so here you can see the two drum uh, the the two productions contain the left recursion here you can see the first production because e produces e plus t so here left recursion occurs there so you need to remove it first and here also in the third production t produces t into f so here also so also the t comes at the left hand side so here also left recursion occur so you need to remove The, these two left recursion from the grammar before calculating the the first symbols <clears throat> so so after removing the left recursion the grammar will you get the grammar like this 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 is the grammar after getting the 
और आफ्टर इलिमिनेटिंग द लेफ्ट रिकर्जन दिस इज द ग्रामर ई प्रोड्यूजेस टी ई डैश देन ई डैश प्रोड्यूजेस प्लस टी ई डैश ऑब्लिक एप्सलॉन एंड टी प्रोड्यूजेस एफ टी डैश देन टी डैश प्रोड्यूजेस इन टू एफ टी डैश ऑब्लिक एप्सलॉन एंड एफ प्रोड्यूजेस ब्रैकेट ऑफ ई एंड देन क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट एंड देन एफ प्रोड्यूजेस आई डी सो दिस इज द ग्रामर यू गेट आफ्टर इलिमिनेशन ऑफ लेफ्ट रिकर्जन नाउ यू नीड टू to calculate the first symbols so again 2 minutes are given to you uh, you need to calculate the the first symbol for each of the non terminals given in this grammar other students also attempt this question it was only three students are attempting just write the elements in the curly braces so so what is what elements are there in the first of e just write in the chat box one by one what elements are there in the first of e only first of e i am asking only the elements which comes in the first of e okay so this time the answer of i issue sony is is correct so so as you can see here from the here from the grammar that first of e we need to calculate for the first of e so first of e you can easily make this it first of e the production is t e dash now the first of e will have the first of t 
So before calculating the first of t, we need to move the production of t. So the the production of t gives f t dash. Now we need to calculate then the first of f. So here the first of f contains two elements. Bracket of e and then id. So here you can see that uh, we need to write the terminals in the first of uh, any non-terminal. So this is so the opening braces is a terminal. So we write this the opening braces as the first element and id is also the terminal. So we write id as the second terminal. So the first of e contains two elements the opening braces and the id. So this uh, from this method, you can calculate the, the first of every terminal. So uh, as we calculate, as we are going to calculate the, the first of E dash, then you can see here you, you get plus sign. So plus is already a terminal. So it is having plus as the, as the terminal and here epsilon is there. So epsilon is also written whenever epsilon is is in the production then epsilon will come in the first of that non terminal so the the non terminal e dash is having plus and epsilon having two first terminal first symbols so in the same way if you if you are going to write the the first of t then there are two then you can also do through this method uh, from uh, from t uh, you can also go to this method that right? f you can uh, need to find the first of f then first of f will contains the 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 two production first is bracket of e and then e and then and then id so here also the first of t is having two elements one is the opening braces and the second is the id now as now the first of t dash so here you get the 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 symbol as terminal into and the and the epsilon so here you are getting two first elements for t dash one is the into symbol and the second is the epsilon and lastly get for uh, getting the first of f you have opening braces and the id so these are the the first symbols of 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 these non terminals so now you are going to, as as we already discussed some of the examples related to calculation of first then now you are going to calculate the the assignment question now you can calculate the first of these question now 5 minutes are given to you now try to calculate the first of these grammars. After getting the answer, just write in the chat box. There's only five minutes are remaining, just do it first.
I think now the question is visible to all of you. Ayushi Soni, now the question is visible to you. Okay. Mustansha, are the question visible to you? Sir. Okay. So do it first. In the next class, we will going to study how we calculate the follow symbols. After practicing, you can easily solve these questions in two minutes. Your answer is partially correct, Aishi Soni. It is correct for B and C non-terminals, but not for S and A non-terminals. Just check your answer for S and A non-terminals again. <laughs> <laughs> 